Chapter 33 These are the journeys of the children of Israel when they went forth out of the land of Egypt by their host under the hand of Moses and Aaron. Moses wrote their goings out according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord, and these are their journeys according to their goings out. They traveled from Ramses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month. On the next day after the Passover the children of Israel went out with a high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians, while the Egyptians were burying all their firstborn, whom the Lord had struck among them. On their gods also the Lord executed judgments. The children of Israel traveled from Ramses and encamped in Succoth. They traveled from Succoth and encamped in Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. They traveled from Etham and turned back to Pihar Hiroth, which is before Baal Zephon, and they encamped before Migdal. They traveled from before Hahiroth and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, and they went three days' journey into the wilderness of Etham and encamped at Mara. They traveled from Mara and came to Elam, and in Elam were twelve springs of water and seventy palm trees, and they encamped there. They traveled from Elam and encamped by the Red Sea. They traveled from the Red Sea and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. They traveled from the wilderness of Sin and encamped in Dovka. They traveled from Dovka and encamped in Alush. They traveled from Alush and encamped in Rephidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. They traveled from Rephidim and encamped in the wilderness of Sinai. They traveled from the wilderness of Sinai and encamped in Kibroth Hatava. They traveled from Kibroth Hatava and encamped in Hazaroth. They traveled from Hazaroth and encamped in Rithma. They traveled from Rithma and encamped in Rimon Perez. They traveled from Rimon Perez and encamped in Libna. They traveled from Libna and encamped in Risa. They traveled from Risa and encamped in Kehelatha. They traveled from Kehelatha and encamped in Mount Shafir. They traveled from Mount Shafir and encamped in Herada. They traveled from Herada and encamped in Machaloth. They traveled from Machaloth and encamped in Tahath. They traveled from Tahath and encamped in Terra. They traveled from Terra and encamped in Mithka. They traveled from Mithka and encamped in Hashmona. They traveled from Hashmona and encamped in Moseroth. They traveled from Moseroth and encamped in Ben Jakan. They traveled from Ben Jakan and encamped in Hor Hagadad. They traveled from Hor Hagadad and encamped in Jotbatha. They traveled from Jotbatha and encamped in Abrona. They traveled from Abrona and encamped in Ezion Geber. They traveled from Ezion Geber and encamped in the wilderness of Sin, the same as Kadesh. They traveled from Kadesh and encamped in Mount Hor, in the edge of the land of Edom. Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of the Lord and died there, in the fortieth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt, in the fifth month, on the first day of the month. Aaron was one hundred twenty-three years old when he died in Mount Hor. The Canaanite, the king of Arad, who lived in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. They traveled from Mount Hor and encamped in Zalmona. They traveled from Zalmona and encamped in Punan. They traveled from Punan and encamped in Oboth. They traveled from Oboth and encamped in Ayi Abarim, in the border of Moab. They traveled from Ayim and encamped in Dibon Gad. They traveled from Dibon Gad and encamped in Almon de Blathaim. They traveled from Almon de Blathaim and encamped in the mountains of Abarim before Nebo. They traveled from the mountains of Abarim and encamped in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho. They encamped by the Jordan from Beth Jesimoth even to Abel Shidom in the plains of Moab. The Lord spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When you pass over the Jordan into the land of Canaan, then you shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy all their figured stones, 
and destroy all their molten images, and demolish all their high places, and you shall take possession of the land and dwell there. For to you have I given the land to possess it. You shall inherit the land by lot, according to your families. To the more you shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer you shall give the less inheritance. Wherever the lot falls to any man, that shall be his. According to the tribes of your fathers shall you inherit. But if you will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then shall those who you let remain of them be as pricks in your eyes, and as thorns in your sides, and they shall vex you in the land in which you dwell. It shall happen that as I thought to do to them, so will I do to you.